Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Keith Shannon with DirectCarpet.com, the do-it-yourself stair runner company. Today we're going to show you how to put in a quick three stair stair runner. Now we've already got our under pad set up and now we're measuring underneath with our index fingers to give us about an inch and kind of pre-center it. Remember, under pad's always an inch shorter on each side so that we have a little bit of groove, a little place to staple. So we're checking with the tape measure. Now we're setting this stair runner up at five and a half inches on each side. So what I want to do is I want to check with my tape measure. You can make a template if you want, but this is how I like to do it. Now, we're going to check and we're going to check and we're going to check again. We've got our finished edge on the bottom. We've got a piece of quarter round on the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to line it up on top of that quarter round. We don't want to go over top of that quarter round because it just doesn't really look good. So what we do is we like to line it up right on there on the bottom, checking my measurements before I lock it into place. Now we've locked it into place with one staple in the middle. And then what I'll do is I will feed that finished edge all the way along until it's nice and straight and in position. Let's pop the staple in. We split the pile so we don't have indentations. And then we rub those indentations out or where the staples went in. We're gonna do this all along, every couple of inches, depending on your carpet, put as many as you need. Now, we're gonna preform a little bit under that nose. Then we're gonna get our staple gun on an angle, 45 degree, and we're gonna go every inch to two inches, depending on your carpet, all the way down. Then we're gonna rub those staple marks out, and you can hammer those staple marks out, whatever you like. Now, we've got our first stair into position. We're measuring for that five and a half, making sure that we're straight. We've got our kicker. We've got some pressure on it. I'm gonna take my tape measure, and then we're gonna check that at five and a half, and then we'll lock it into place. There we go. Maybe three to four staples, depending on the carpet, between the binding and the carpet, so that you don't see those indentations. If you do see indentations, you can bang them out with a hammer. So I'm just rubbing them out there. Now we're gonna get our carpet tucker, our carpet tool, whatever you like to call it. We're gonna angle that on a 45 degree angle with the tip of that stair runner. Now, this is Anderson Tough Tech's Dreamscape. Uh, the color is Pelican. Uh, we have it on the website if you're looking for it. When we're doing Pelican, it is pretty stiff. It's 100% nylon, it's very thick and durable. So we have to kind of use that stair runner, or sorry, that, uh, that stair tucker, and we really have to groove that in. So here we go, we've got the groove, we've got the staples in there. Now we're gonna take our stair tool and our hammer and we're gonna bang that down even more. A really nice straight line makes this carpet and any stair carpet look absolutely amazing. Here is the finished result on the first stair. And now we're gonna move our way up to the second stair. Nice groove. All right, let's, let's check out our measurements. Five and a half, five and a half. And if it's not five and a half, let's say you have to course correct. Now I believe when I was doing the stair runner, all stair runners will go to the left or go to the right. They're never just gonna go on straight. So you do have to course correct every once in a while, every couple of stairs. That's why I check all the time. So here we are on 45, underneath the nose all the way. I usually like to put two staples on each side, on the outside, just so that it won't pop off. Now, we'll grab our tape measure. Let's get rid of the excess here first because we're gonna use that later. Now, we're gonna get some pressure on it and then we're gonna check our measurements. Now, you can see I'm off a little bit. So now we have to course correct. We've got more on that side and if you keep going on that angle all the way up, let's say you're doing 10 stairs, you're gonna be in trouble. So you can see I'm gonna angle that kicker until I get that five and a half and then I'll grab this, there it is there, I'll grab the stable gun and we will lock it into place. You can see I got lots of pressure on my knee, on the kicker. Now we're gonna lock it into place. Boom, now we got our five and a half, we're back on track. That's why you gotta make sure you check this every stair. That's really the secret. Every stair is the same install as long as you are straight. And then if not, you course correct. Now I'm angling out, checking the measurement, making sure we're good, nice and tight. Staples between the binding and the carpet. 
Here we go, rub that out. Let's get our stair tool. Now, because we're only doing three stairs here today, we're gonna get this, pretend this is the top riser of three, six, 10, 15 stairs, it doesn't matter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that groove really, really good. We're gonna get our kicker and then we're gonna staple in on the 45 not too low because we have to cut this with a knife and if you are too low with your staples you will hit that with your knife and it'll be very difficult so make sure you angle appropriately so let's bang those in all the way along get a nice groove then we're gonna get a nice sharp blade and we're gonna cut from the left in and from the right in. Sorry, we're doing right. We're gonna cut from the right in, and then we'll do it from the left in. Always cut from the outside so you don't cut the binding or the stair. We're gonna clean all that fluff out of there, and then we'll tuck it in with our tucker so we have a really nice line, a really nice groove. <laughs> Now, when we send you a stair runner, we always send you a top. So that is bound on the top, bound on the sides, and here we go. So we measured for that, something like five and a half, six inches. We're gonna mark it with a pencil on each side. Then we'll get a straight edge, and then we'll mark those lines, and then we'll get a really good pair of scissors or shears. We're gonna angle cut that in. And then we're gonna cut along the line because the outside of the binding is never as tall. You can see that little kick. It's never as tall as the carpet. And that little kick will help go right down and meet that binding on the stairs. Now I throw a lot of staples here on the angle so that it looks like it's in really nice. Now, we're gonna check and see if the cut was good. I'd rather you have a little extra and have to trim it than to be short. Okay, it looks like we're a little tight there. So we'll pull it out and we'll shave an eighth of an inch off. And then we'll try it again. All right, clean that edge off. Let's see if that's gonna work. See that little kick down there? That kick comes down, touches the binding. Now we're just gonna squeeze this under. Perfect. Now we'll clean up those edges. If those edges look like they're gonna fray, we'll put a little hot melt glue on there just to seal them up. Then we're gonna split the pile. We're gonna put in a ton of staples. We'll rub those out. We'll hammer those out so you don't see them. Because if you just take your staple gun and staple against that pile, you're going to see all those indentations. So make sure you split your pile. Now, if you're looking for this stair runner, it's available at directcarpet.com under Anderson Tough Tex Pelican. It's like a light bluey gray. It's amazing. People love it. I love it. 100% nylon. And we make them all custom fit, custom size, custom landings, anything that you need. Just hit us up in the chat button, send us an email to support at directcarpet.com and we can do anything that you need. If you like this video, hit the like, hit the subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a comment for me. Here's the finished result. Tell me what you think about this in the comments.